It appears the government will not relent in its quest to have the housing levy fund declared legal. The Speaker of the National Assembly and the National Assembly have lodged an appeal against the ruling that stopped the deduction of the fund at the Supreme Court. But even with this new development, the levy continues to split opinion with teachers under Kupet threatening to sue the Teacher Service Commission for contempt after the teacher's body deducted the levy even after the ruling was made. NTV's Sydney Chazima starts us off. Two arms of government now appear to have ganged up against the judiciary over its ruling that stopped the deduction of the housing levy fund. The Supreme Court of Kenya will now adjudicate an appeal lodged by the National Assembly and its Speaker Moses Wetangura, who was equally present during the dialogue between the executive and the judiciary. The legislature will be challenging the ruling by the Court of Appeal, citing dissatisfaction. But even as the legislature seeks redress in the highest court in the land, more dissenting voices against the levy are cropping up. The leadership of Coupette is up in arms against its employer, the Teacher Service Commission, demanding for refunds. Coupette demand the immediate release of the legally deducted taxes to teachers. We have also sought an assurance from the Commission that it will obey court orders. Coupette is even threatening to file a contempt of court suit against TSC. Our options include, include uh, instituting contempt proceedings against teacher service commission officials in their personal capacities over this matter of the housing levy. The opposition as well is speaking in tandem with the teachers union urging the government to adhere to the court ruling. All those who are trying to force that illegal housing levy to Nawambia Kwanza Vile Mahakame Meamua we want them to cease deducting money from Kenyans, Mara Moj. In fact, we want to see them uh, refunding Kenyans money that was illegally deducted from their pay As a meal leader, Raila Odinga, who was the chief guest at the party of National Unity's 15-year celebration, has poured cold water on the government's unrelenting will to enforce the fund. You look at Upendo Sipende to the Zika. It's not how loud you speak, how, how firmly you pronounce yourself. This country will be changed by re properly thought out policies. But despite the punches from the opposition and unions, those speaking from the president's corner have set their eyes on a different lot of people threatening to cancel contracts of contractors. In case you send away the artisan, the foodies who are working on your project, because of the ruling of the court, it will be deemed that you are working with Azmeo. And you'll be treated as so. And we can ex institute the process of terminating your contract to have other contractors to have that work ongoing. But even as the debate on the housing levy continues to split opinion, the head of state who is back in the country will be in Western Kenya where he is expected to groundbreak yet another set of houses under the affordable housing plan. Sydney Chazima, NTV.